go. Okay, we're going to be going over instruments today. Let's go over retractors first. This is a Goulet retractor, which you usually use above factual. Uh, this is uh, a Richardson retractor. Both of these are different sizes. You usually use these to lift up uh, fascia and retract. <coughs> you can use them during OB and GYN surgeries, and you use it um, when you're retracting to open, make a hysterotomy incision during a C-section. <coughs> this is a bladder blade. Uh, this type we use during a C-section. There's a different kind of bladder blade, which kind of looks similar to GYN surgery. These are malleable. They're called malleable because they're malleable, and uh, you can use them as a retractor, but they're generally used to hold bowel down when you close fascia, and they <coughs> can easily be retained, so be careful. Um, <coughs> these are straight mayo scissors, uh, and these are bandage scissors. <coughs> straight mayo scissors are used to cut suture. You could also use them during a hysterectomy, um, but <coughs> when you're cutting the uh, uterines. Bandage scissors are used to extend your hysterotomy incision during a C-section. The bottom part is protected so you don't cut anything underneath like the fetus. Um, <coughs> there's also curved mayo scissors which are not... Uh, oh, here they are. They're like the same size as uh, straight mayos, but they're curved. And you use this uh, to cut uh, pedicles like omentum or uterine artery. You can also use them to cut the suture, but you should really use your straight scissors for that. These are Metsimum scissors, which are much lighter than Mayo scissors, and they're used to cut usually filmy uh, adhesions and things like the bladder flap <coughs> and avascular spaces. Um, let's, next, let's go uh, discuss pickups. These are Adsen pickups. Um, they have teeth at the end, and they're, this is used to uh, grab scarpa's fascia, fat, and skin when you're closing. Um, these are rat tooths or pickups with teeth, and um, they're used to close fascia uh, during a C section or during a uh, GYN surgery. You can also use bonnies, which are similar to rat tooths, except they have a little. Um, area for picking up the needle. Yeah. <coughs> so those are those. These are Russians, which you uh, generally use during uh, a C-section. You can use it to grab uh, uh, and close the hysterotomy incision. You can use it to close peritoneum. <coughs> and they have a little... That's what it looks like inside. Um, other pickups, we talk... <coughs> Um, are the bakies which we don't have here or, s or smooth pickups those are what you use in GYN surgeries uh, we can now these are some other things these are uh, needle holders there's different sizes depending on when you need to use them uh, this is a pool sucker you can use it to collect uh, Come in and suck half. blood and large pools of fluid like when you're irrigating <coughs> these are ring forceps which um, you use to um, grab the uterus or grab uh, placental tissue. Um, you can also use it as a sponge. Uh, mostly we use these as for sponge sticks. Um, you can also use it sometimes to grab the cervix you got a minute, go. to stop bleeding. These are coker clamps. They have teeth at the end. Uh, you use this to grab fascia. Uh, they're kind of dangerous, so be careful when you use those. These are called alices. You can use them um, to test the skin when you start a C-section. You can use it to uh, grab your angles of your hysterotomy incision. These are Babcock clamps, which we use to grab the tubes. Uh, <coughs> these are Kellys. They're curved. There's different sizes of Kellys. Um, and these are peons. That's track. about it, and these are... Oh, <laughs> Alright.